Alexa Maslowski, here's your Spectrum News in 90. The Ohio Department of Health is announcing the creation of a new monkeypox dashboard to provide Ohioans with updates on the status of the virus around the state. The interactive map shows you the total number of cases, cases per county, and hospitalizations and deaths similar to the COVID-19 dashboard. Meanwhile, the Cleveland Department of Health is holding a monkeypox vaccine clinic today. It's set to take place from 3 to 9 p.m. at Aura Ultra Lounge. The department says people who are most at risk of contracting monkeypox are eligible for the shot. A study released earlier this year by the Center for Internet Security found that cyber attacks on state and local governments rose significantly last year. The report showed a 148% increase in malware attacks and a 51% increase in ransomware attacks. In our nation's capital, the Biden administration is working towards support for child care. President Joe Biden signed an executive order back in April containing more than 50 directives to support child care, home-based care, family caregivers, and long-term care. Experts say it's the first big step to giving families the help they so desperately need. Really what it showed was um, a, a system that needs to be supported um, and invested in. Members of the Columbus Education Association will meet tomorrow to hear recommendations from its bargaining team. This follows two negotiating sessions this week with Columbus City Schools that did not result in a deal. CEA could vote to strike Sunday night. Well, if you're thinking, I thought texting while driving was already illegal in Ohio, you would be correct. It has been for a while now, but it's a law that's been difficult to enforce. But that all changes this week as distracted driving becomes a primary offense, which basically just means that law enforcement doesn't need another reason to pull you over if you've got your hands on your phone. Well, third party presidential candidates are often seen as spoilers, people with no chance of winning who draw votes from one party and throw the election to the other. That's what some fear is the case with no labels, which is preparing for a possible centrist ticket, even though some say it would only help former President Donald Trump return to the White House. We're going to talk about that and more on the presidential campaign trail today with our chief national political reporter, Josh Robin. Josh, good morning. And if you're heading out on a trip, you can now reserve a parking spot at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport ahead of your next flight. This means no more lot full of frustrations or parking miles away in an overflow lot. The air Airport is launching a smart garage that lets travelers purchase a spot on its on-site parking garage. The new feature can be found on the parking and transportation tab on clevelandairport.com. Here, travelers can pay ahead of time to guarantee their spot before they arrive. It takes away a lot of the stress uh, that people are experiencing now with everything filling up here at the garage uh, or all of our on-site parking. Um, so it takes that anxiety away knowing that when you get here, you have a parking spot. I love this. I am all about efficiency at the airport. The feature also allows visitors to extend their reservation to help accommodate any changes or delays in travel plans. All right, well, here is something allowing many of us to take a look back at our childhood. A little nostalgia yeah. for you this morning. Lego is releasing a Pac-Man set based on the 1980s arcade game. It has more than 2,500 pieces, so it'll take you a little bit, and it creates a kind of maze. The company says characters can move through it just like Pac-Man did in the original game. It's out next month.